Hey, what's up guys? Fabio here once again. I want to welcome everyone back to another video. And today, or tonight, or whenever you see this video, um, I'm going to be doing another first impressions video. And this one is going to be about Bohemian Rhapsody, which I just got back a little while ago from the theater. Um, I did go out tonight with a good friend of mine here in the army, here in my unit. Um, we went and saw Overlord earlier this week, and we decided that, you know, since we just got back from a month out in California, out in Satan's butthole, and, you know, we had missed out on a couple of movies, we figured since it was a holiday weekend, you know, we should go check out another movie. And I said, sure, you know. We went out, grabbed some dinner at Taco Bell, went to Entertain Mart, and I, I traded a bunch of stuff in at Entertain Mart, and then I use store credit and got a couple of titles, which you'll see tomorrow in my weekly collection update. And we went and saw Bohemian Rhapsody, which is a movie that um, I was very curious to see for many reasons. Um, primarily because I've always been a big Queen fan. I've always enjoyed Queen's music. Ever since I was a kid, um, I remember... Queen was always a band that I was really into as a kid. Um, from, of course, you know, We Will Rock You and We Are the Champions being played at, you know, every sporting event or, or some, you know, something of that nature. Um, Bohemian Rhapsody was really, really popular when I was a kid because Wayne's World came out the year that I was born. And because of that movie, Bohemian Rhapsody went number one again 16 years after it came out. So that song was really popular when I was a kid. And just a lot of the other songs that Queen did were just songs I grew up listening to often, very often. And, of course, Highlander. Um, I've always been a huge Highlander fan ever since I was a kid. And as everyone knows at this point, Queen did the soundtrack to the first Highlander movie. And they ended up reusing some of the songs in the TV show and, and other assorted Highlander things. Um, so that connection also made me a really big Queen fan. But uh, primarily that's why I wanted to see the movie. I've always been just a very big fan of Queen's music. Um, I think Freddie Mercury is the greatest singer of all time. That's just my opinion. And they're just an amazing band. Uh, you know, Brian May is a fantastic guitar player who I've always enjoyed. Um, John Deacon is a great bass player, very underrated in my opinion, and same with Roger Taylor on the drums. I think Roger Taylor is a great drummer that not a lot of people talk about, um, in my opinion. But yeah, um, of course the movie was primarily about Freddie Mercury, but that's not really what I think the movie itself was, was all about. It was about Queen in general, but primarily on Freddie and all the struggles that he went through in his life. Um, you know, being a gay man at the time when being gay was not really the most uh, popular thing to be, and people really didn't know how to handle it, which even now, in 2018, people still don't know how to handle. Um, but hey, it is what it is, you know, at this point. Some things will unfortunately never change. But I will just start off by saying that I really enjoyed this movie. Um, I looked at reviews and looked at what people and friends of mine and, you know, people that I know, yeah, friends of mine, said about the movie and they all enjoyed it. My brother saw the movie before me and he said he really liked it. And uh, financially, the movie did well so far. You know, it's it's made, I think, about two or three times its budget because the budget wasn't that big for this movie, which is surprising because it's kind of all on the screen. I think the movie was very well made, and Brian Singer, who is a director that I've always enjoyed from X-Men and Usual Suspects and the other films that he's done, uh, not Superman Returns, <laughs> sorry, I had to, um, I think Brian Singer is a capable director, and I think visually the movie was satisfying, you could kind of see everything in the movie, and, and it looked good, um, but I just felt overall the movie was very enjoyable, I kind of Again, looked at what other people, friends had said about the movie and, and my brother. And I was like, okay, cool. I still want to go see this movie for myself because, you know, again, I've always been a big fan of Queen's music. Uh, and I always will be. 
you know, I, I always will be a fan of their music. And um, this movie kind of made me remember some songs that I had forgotten about. You know, some Queen songs that I hadn't listened to in a long time were in the movie, which is cool. Um, but yeah, overall, I think the movie was really well made. Uh, again, Brian Singer, uh, again, a director whose movies I've enjoyed over the years from X-Men and, and other, primarily X-Men, but some of the other stuff he's done. Um, I thought visually, again, the movie was satisfying. It looked good. Uh, there was some shaky cam in the film, but it wasn't too distracting, um, particularly during the music sequences. Like, It wasn't distracting enough to take away from you trying to enjoy them recreating these performances of Queen. So that was good. You know, um, the soundtrack was great. Um, I think most of it was Freddie Mercury. There were a couple times where I'm like, that's not Freddie Mercury's voice. It was, it sounded just like him. Um, the guy that plays Freddie Mercury, he didn't sing in the movie. They got someone else to, to do his vocals. But um, there was a few points where you could definitely tell it wasn't Freddie Mercury. It was the other guy. That they got, and I don't know the guy's name that ended up doing the vocals, but uh, a good chunk of the movie, at least from my perspective, I, I didn't make the movie, so I don't know, but a good chunk of it was, it seemed like it was Freddie Mercury's voice, particularly uh, the ending, which is the performance at Live Aid. That was definitely all Freddie Mercury's vocals. There, there, no doubt about it. That was all taken from the live aid performance. It, definitely. There was no question about that. That was all Freddie Mercury. Um, when he's singing Bohemian Rhapsody, that was definitely, again, Freddie Mercury has a pretty distinct voice. Um, you, you can't fool anybody, especially even if you've only heard one Queen song, you're like, yep, that's it. That's Freddie. Um, you know, that, that is definitely Freddie Mercury's voice in the the Bohemian Rhapsody stuff. Some of the other stuff was definitely, you could tell slightly that it wasn't Freddie Mercury. But I think most of it, and again, particularly during the important stuff of the movie, was Freddie Mercury. Um, and I thought the performances were really well done. Most of the actors in this movie are young, up-and-coming actors that you haven't really seen. Um, the guy who played... Uh, John Deacon was the kid from Jurassic Park, Joe Mazzello, who's kind of coming back into his own a little bit. He was in, um, he's been in some some bigger movies in the past couple of years, and it's like, oh, the, the kid from Jurassic Park, all grown up, cool. Um, but everyone else, um, not, I didn't really recognize anybody. I, I looked them up, and I'm like, okay, he was, okay, I've seen this, that's what he's in, you know, mostly newer stuff, but you know, it was cool that they didn't use, like, huge name actors. Um, I mean, Mike Myers was in the movie, which was cool to see him in there, I guess. He got the part because of Wayne's World, because Wayne's World kind of brought, you know, Queen back into the number one position after, uh, you know, 16 years after Bohemian Rhapsody was released. So it was cool to see Mike Myers in the film. You know, I still enjoy his work. You know, I know he's a bit of a prick, but... Um, I still like him as an actor. You know, I don't think there's anything wrong with his acting. But um, I thought the performances were great. Um, there was some, of course, all these movies, these biopic movies, they take liberties. And this movie was no exception. Um, there were some things in this movie that were not historically correct. Freddie Mercury finding out he had AIDS did not happen until after Live Aid. Um, of course, for Hollywood, they did the Hollywood version. Um, that was one of the big things. Um, I Another big thing, Queen never broke up. In the movie, they kind of broke up. Um, that never happened in real life. Uh, Freddie went off to do his solo stuff, and I'm sure there was some disagreements and, and bickering and stuff, but Queen never broke up as a band. They were always still together. They just were not active at the time. And... Um, they still continued after Live Aid because they did, again, the Highlander soundtrack. Under Pressure, which was in the movie, came out later than Live Aid. Um, but again, for, of course, Under Pressure is one of Queen's most well known songs. Of course, they're going to put it in the movie. You know, that's 
a given. Um, and some other stuff was inaccurate, like the whole thing about Freddie Mercury. Uh, I don't, I don't think, and this I could be wrong on this. I don't think he was like a super hardcore drug addict, as far as I know. Um, yeah, I don't. I'm, I'm sure they all kind of dabbled in it here and there, but I don't think Freddie Mercury was like a hardcore, like ah, ah, okay, you know, super drug addict. You know, from what I've read and reading books on Queen and researching and stuff, I don't. I don't think he was, unless that was was just you know whatever. But I don't think Freddie Mercury was a super dr hardcore drug addict. Um, you know, but. It is what it is. You know, that's just how it goes. Um, and I know the movie's catching flack for the portrayal of Freddie Mercury being gay. That didn't bother me because that's who Freddie Mercury was. You know, he was a gay man who definitely went through a lot of struggles with that identity at that time in the 70s and the 80s. It, you know, it was still really kind of a, a, a major taboo. And even now, like I said at the beginning of the video, even in 2018, it's still, it, it's really hard to believe it is, but it's still a taboo. It's still a really touchy subject with people, which, you know, not with me. I mean, you know, I have plenty of, of friends and family members who are gay. And you know what? If that's who you are and that's how you feel, I will support you till the end of time. You know, I have nothing against gay people. Again, I know plenty you know, even here in the army, some of my best friends in the army are gay, you know, and I have no issue with that. That's, you know, I'll support you. It is what it is. But yeah, um, I know I want to keep this under 10 minutes, but I really enjoyed this movie. Um, I probably would say it's my favorite movie of the year so far. Um, I definitely liked it more than the Marvel stuff. And again, I know that there was inaccuracies in inaccuracies. If I could talk, that would be great. Um, you know, it's, it's already midnight here, but whatever. Um, but I really liked this movie. Um, and I felt that it did Queen and Freddie Mercury, you know, apart from the inaccuracies, I think it, it was done very well. It was very well made. And I am really enjoyed it. You know, I really liked the movie. Um, the theater experience was a little annoying because people were talking and singing and it's like, okay, I get it, you love Queen, but we're here to watch the movie. I want to hear Freddie Mercury sing, not you. That's what I paid for. Just like you pay for the CD, you want to hear Freddie Mercury, or you pay to go to the concert, you know. But yeah, I, you know, overall really enjoyed Bohemian Rhapsody. I'm definitely going to pick it up when it comes out on Blu-ray in a couple of months here. And I recommend it, I very much so. Um, if you enjoy Queen's music or you like these type of movies, uh, highly recommend Bohemian Rhapsody. It was very well made and good performances from everyone. And the soundtrack was awesome. Of course it was, that's Queen. And they did Freddie Mercury. They did Freddie Justice. I'm sure he's up there watching and, and like, you know what? They did a good job. And, and again, I've, I've been a Queen fan my whole life. I know in recent years, they've become a lot more popular especially with Adam Lambert coming into the band and stuff, which I don't care for. It's just me. Um, nothing against Adam Lambert. But I've always been a Queen fan, and it was nice to see. And, of course, again, people are going to jump on the bandwagon, but whatever. Who cares? So, yeah. So, anyway, guys, I hope that you enjoyed my first impression uh, video about Bohemian Rhapsody. And um, if you liked it, let me know in the comments down below. I'd like to hear your thoughts on it. Anyway. Until the next time, as always, thank you guys for watching. Take care, and see you later.